The National Health Service was founded on July 4, 1948 and has grown to become the world's largest publicly funded health service. As funding comes directly from taxation, the poorest no longer have to depend on potentially life-threatening home remedies or the charity of doctors. How has technology within the NHS developed? And how have these technological advances impacted on the organisation of people in the NHS? So, how has the technology within the NHS developed? Advances in technology have been vital in the creation of NHS we know today. These are allowed the organisation to become more efficient in diagnosis, consultation, administration and monitoring. This has played a part in the average life expectancy of a UK individual, increasing around 10 years for a male and 8 years for a female since 1960. When the NHS was first founded, it took on the form of a tripartite structure. This was very mechanical and autocratic, with those at the top in control of the decisions and very little control at the bottom. This was a very rigid, task-centred approach, meaning changes were slow to be implemented. During this period, funding was generally shared amongst education and housing, leaving the health service with a limited budget to invest in new technologies. Even without the advanced technology they have today, they became a part of the reconstruction programme after the Second World War. At this time, work involving railways, steel, gas and electricity became popular, making it vital to have a healthcare system available to all. From the year 2000, the structure had dramatically changed. The decisions made at the top were now quickly dispersed across five key departments who had the freedom and expertise in these areas to ensure changes made were relevant. Due to this structure, communication across the NHS was improved. The improvements in technology had had a key impact on communication across the NHS. The introduction of a device called the DigiPen allows faster and more efficient paperless communication, saving two million a year in secretarial costs. Currently, the NHS is undergoing major changes to its coil. It now aims to better place people at the centre after numerous complaints were made against a compassion for patients and quality of the health care some received. Here, the outer ranks hold most authority, yet decisions are spread across the organisation, with many able to be made within specialised departments. Patients now have better ease of access to self-care services. Millions have used NHS apps and websites, for example, NHS Direct Symptom Checker. This allows any individual to receive professional advice on their health in the security and comfort of their own home. Before the 18th century, ancient civilizations in Egypt and Greece were said to have the most advanced medical technology. However, after Britain had its two industrial revolutions in the 18th century, the medical level in Europe began to upgrade rapidly. Now, together with the USA, Europe has the most advanced medical technology, with industrial changes making healthcare more systematic and more professional too. In 2012, the NHS was rated the best system in terms of efficiency, effective care, safe care, coordinated care, patient standard care and cost-related problems, showing its many improvements since it was first formed.